what's up everybody it's your girl bianca back with another video usually i say b but i'm all serious right now it's literally 2 11 in the morning i just got home because i was working I have a big event today i guess you would say um but yeah um okay so it was my birthday and i got a gift um and i wanted to share it with you guys because it's oh, let me go drop <laughs> let me not drop it um it's super cute i got it in this but um, so this is the crystal. Let me try to. I guess I'll show you guys like this. It matches. I see it. So it matches my nails. So it is. It looks like. Come on, focus on it. There it goes. So this is opal. opal anyways back to me <clears throat> okay so opal it's really cute because it matches my nails <laughs> um so opal it activates and encourages the balance of the entire chakra system including the infinite number of chakras throughout the Ar or 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 auric it's a-u-r-i-c hmm, i don't know how you say that field auric field okay expands the scope of prophetic vision and imagination ass assists in the recall of accurate vivid images from past lives displays inner beauty as an outward illumination attracts loving people and positive events to the holder and sparks relationship with relationships with joy passion and faithfulness it's really actually i didn't read all of them um but when i got this wow i really really like it and this really holds a lot i gotta get a bigger one of these <laughs> I'm like i'm about to get a tower or something um i just like the whole like prophetic vision because i i mean if you are i know a lot of people be like oh this girl's crazy it's like people really do receive like visions <laughs> i mean it happens 211 it's actually 213 oh my god again with that number um i still haven't looked it up i should i write it down actually because then i forget i got three new decks guys I got three because you guys know it was prime day so when i saw that shit all 50 percent off i was like oh got to stack up i actually had to get a new one of this because um this is my favorite but honestly these two that i got right here are pretty pretty nice um but this one's my absolute favorite i used it for a really long time and um i missed um i there was uh i was missing some cards i think i was missing like one or two cards from this it might have been two cards but um yeah so ridiculous that's why i haven't used it so i had to buy another one and it was on 50 percent off so i also got this one it's the cosmic slumber so anytime i receive any gifts any anything honestly if somebody gives me something i cleanse it always cleanse it with palo santo always kind of like take it out the box unwrap it do all your cards like i shuffle my i go like this to my cards and i like you know put alo santo around it whenever i get anything from amazon just in general from anybody because i've heard this um and if you want to i mean okay people can perceive this as like rude or something but it's like you just don't know the energy that someone's in when they're giving you something so it's like i always try to make things with pure intentions and like in a good in a good state of mind or like in a happy state of mind and not in a negative state so like it's like when i come on here and give give you guys my messages if i'm in a shitty mood and i give you a message and i'm talking shit or if i'm like you know projecting that's projecting and that's not good because that's putting your energy and which is negative onto somebody else so that's not good anyways obviously that's not good you want to always be in high vibration and you always want to be you know in a good light and like whenever there is any situation that can maybe you could maybe be because i've caught myself and i'm like i'm fucking projecting right now so i need to chill and it, it takes a lot it takes a lot for somebody and it takes like maturity to be like you know what i'm wrong right now let me just take a chill pill like hold on four 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 as i look up um i i catch myself doing that and it takes like you have to get rid of the pride in a sense of being wrong or I don't know. Now I'm getting something along the lines of, and eh, I may not say anything because 
I could just cause a trigger. I was talking. To, I was gonna say something that that could be done. Never mind. Just never mind. <laughs> so that was I don't know why I started to shuffle, but um, I'll give you those cards. Okay, rise to success and fame. Okay, so these two cards. So death do its part. So this could have to do with a marriage. I it's so hard to pick this up with my nails on. And work hard for your dreams. You will be a success story. So, because these cards came out together. I would say if you're having a situ if you're having an issue with your partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, but this does say till death do us part. So you might you were probably you are probably married to this person. I think when it says work hard for your dreams, you'll be a success story because it came out with that. We can take it as two ways, whether it be your career, continue to work hard. Um, obviously when you work hard, eventually, you know, and if you have good product, if you have good a good attitude like you know dot your i's cross your t's um and like i feel like you will always like nobody if you keep trying like you know it'll happen eventually you just have to be patient not everything's gonna happen like this sometimes you can get quick instant gratification out of things but that dwindles away and then what but you want something long term so it's gonna take time to get to that place you know but that, that's one way of thinking it. But so if we think about it, if you guys are going through something in regards to your relationship or partnership, um, I think that you guys are going to make the decision to continue to work on it. And um, it's going to work out in your guys' favor because when you guys both have one goal of like, okay, yes, you can be in two different places mentally or in a sense of like, wanting different things for yourself but when you can come together and be like okay i want a relationship i want to co-parent with you i want to work together i want to try not to argue as much or try not to be in your business or like i try i'll try not to overstep my boundaries like there could be many many things those are just the things i can think about the top of my head that could be wrong or like cause an issue in some sort of friendship or partnership because even with my own mother you know we can get into arguments and then i can watch a chair video and be like yeah this is what exactly what happened <laughs> so even if i'm talking about a love situation if think about the energy i know um we can be really we can get caught up on the signs we can get caught up on if it's a female or a male it doesn't matter it's about is this person acting like this does it sound like this person then it's most likely that energy so it's the same thing So, I keep saying, I, this was here yesterday. I'm hiding my feelings. You intimidate me and beautiful in the beginning, but then I also see angel numbers. Hmm, it says someone is lying on you, but then it said, I'm so sorry. It could be somebody from like your way childhood, like when you were, I'm not, I'm not saying like high school. I'm not saying like, whoo, way childhood. Any, um, maybe it could be a sibling. Maybe it could be somebody in your, in your family. I hate this. I don't. I put this in here like black magic and spell work in here because it's like, I mean, it's it's a real thing. Like, and people think it's like an actual like, what Hocus Pocus the movie. They people really think that's what tarot readers do, and it's like, man, people, like. I, but I get it because when I got my first deck, I didn't even want to open it because I was so fearful. I was like, oh my god, a demon's gonna come and bite me, or I don't know. Like, it's just naive we're naive you know when we don't understand something but it says someone is lying on you and then it says spell work what i get now i get it but you're an earth angel because so you're protected when anybody messes with somebody who is okay let me get that okay um i have this is something that's true well, it's not like okay uh, what i'm getting because my sister always says like this is this a scientific is this a scientific fact i'm like oh, shut up I love you, but be quiet. <laughs> Anyways, um, spell work can mean somebody lying, saying something that's not, is completely false, true, not true. That's spell work. That's somebody, that's spell work. When somebody lies and says, oh yeah, I know this, this to be true. Like, yeah, this is, that person did this or like that person, like, you know, something like that. That spell work, that is called 
stuff work. That's black magic in a sense. You're using word magic, which is not truthful. So because maybe somebody wants your life, maybe somebody was envious of you. You know, there could be a situation people need to realize we can live in, a, in our higher self and we can live in our lower self. You got to be very careful if you wish somebody else's life. Let's say if the universe decides to grant that to you. Let's say the universe is like, you know what? You want this person's life so bad? Here you go. But they were in this low vibrational energy. Guess what? You get their life when they were in a low vibrational energy. So they're realizing you are a pure energy. <laughs> so it's like um, you can manifest somebody's past life and they were a horrible freaking person. You didn't. You have to be specific and like people need to realize that like this shit is serious. It's like a serious thing, divine timing. And, um, you know, there'll be times where people have asked, I have had certain people ask, this is truth right here. So certain people have asked, like, hey, how do you do this? How do you do tarot? And I really have tried to explain it to them. She's not one of them. Um, I tried to explain it to them. And um, they don't realize how hard it is, 11 11. They don't realize how hard it is to, and what you have to do to prep all of this and like how long it takes. Cause I didn't just start doing this yesterday. It's been years, and this is like years of like being comfortable enough to even speak out loud on tarot. Because even I was a little nervous about how people could perceive me because of how I used to think of tarot in the past. So it's like I feel like people can delays. I feel like I cause a lot of delays, but I feel like people can. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people can create some sort of blockages when it comes to that. But then I have to be like, I don't give a F. So, yeah, I feel that's the truth. <laughs> I feel like some of you guys could be writing. They're trying to convince your person that you are a promiscuous energy. Is it working? Is it? Because somebody wants your life. Let me see. I'm bringing you what you deserved from the start. You were an, you are an angel sent from above. Earth angel, soul connection, somebody wants your life. They want, somebody could be wanting, okay, oh my gosh, career and life, everything with this career. Maybe somebody just sees, your intuition has been telling you this and it will not go away. I was like trying to move the card out and it was stink stuck to my finger. Okay, so... Um, okay, yeah, so what I was saying is somebody could have manifested, like, when you were in, you are protected, don't live in fear, when you were in a lower vibration, or also if people try to, word magic, which is what I'm saying is if someone says something like, I hope this person doesn't do good, or I hope they, they stumble and fall in a sense, you know, um, and I don't, I'm not saying this to anybody. This is not me projecting. And then that, like, um, I feel like people can throw, throw rocks and then they like hide and they like look to see like, is this person, is, are they messing up or like, and they like wait for your downfall. I feel like those types of people are people that really are envious and they really magician. I feel like because you co-create with the universe and you, um, I feel like because people have seen, okay, I'm going to use me as an example. I'm not trying to like, put, I can only use my story and like what I've gone through. Um, with, in regards to where I was, if you know me, if you guys know me, I'm sure people, I mean, you guys have to have, I mean, I mean it's at least there's one person that knows me from when I was younger and like kind of in my reckless stage. Um, I really changed, I had to really change how i reacted and how i like i didn't like to stay angry i liked i don't like like i'm not saying i don't like confrontation because i don't shy away from somebody asking me like hey what's up like with this but i have to really remember like what comes out of my mouth next is what i need to remember i need to be account i'm gonna have to take accountability for whatever it is i say so remember to always kind of like think before you speak and also whenever you are around anybody whether it be like at home or um, in public at a family gathering i feel like um some people can be very dual 
dual with like they are one way and at home and then when they're in front of other people they're like the nicest person in the world but then when you're back home they kind of treat you like you're like nobody like oh whatever like get out of here like they kind of put on a show it kind of i feel like um yeah um pe people can be dual-minded like they can speak one way but then they could be harsh to you or they could be really nice to everybody but to you they're mean you know it's just something 15 15 <sighs> i really i'm gonna try not to say any signs but whatever i'm gonna say um we have magician which is mercury which is gemini we have the lovers is also a gemini card we have the emperors aries and we have the eight of cups so we have the magician the eight of cups the emperor and the lovers so i feel like there was a decision there's a decision that's needed to be made maybe somebody has been trying to manifest a new beginning um but i feel like somebody was watching some sort of deception or something and there could have been some sort of fight could have been a libra aquarius yeah so this is for sure aquarius libra gemini aquarius this is air that's for sure air and aries and leo and it's good okay hmm. i think okay well this is what i'm getting oh my gosh i like i was saying something else and i just started pulling cards and it came up um i feel like okay if this is not you i only just perceive this because i love the empress card but we have the emperor and the empress right here Mm. Let me see this. We have the lovers. Um, but we also have the justice. All right, guys. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so tired. I really wanted to use a new deck though, but I still am. Don't worry. So we have. To, okay. So what I'm getting out of all of this is somebody, somebody, whether this is you, the other person, or somebody in your family could be in some sort of. Dis, not just draw i guess despair despair is that the word um i'm pretty sure that's the word yeah they're like concerned there um or there could have been in some sort of like they were overburdened they were overworked i feel like there was a lot of inner conflict if it wasn't inner conflict inner conflict it was definitely some sort of conflict could have been a capricorn sagittarius um aries for sure i feel like there was a humongous betrayal of some sort um i feel like somebody maybe put some sort of illusions or was trying to um let me see was trying to have some sort of illusion or like basically like some fake um story we were talking about when people when we, i was not just saying like somebody could have lied because this is spell work I'm oh, so sorry, guys. I'm so tired. It is freaking two thirty in the morning. Um, sheesh, and I have to go so early to LA. It's okay. It's all good. This I love my job. I really do. I live the life, but it took a lot of work. Okay, so this is the easy. Just let me not let me say that because a lot of people will be like, damn, like. And again, I really want to put out there like my life is not as though, although it may seem perfect. I know, and maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm up here talking to myself. Who knows? <laughs> Anyways, but I know that I know what what it takes to really work hard to change. And what I was saying earlier is like changing the way you speak. Um, also, not being around people who talk crap or like talk bad about anything. Honestly, it happened when it started happening to me. It was a little strange, but I just like I felt like a bitch not talking about people, but because other people would talk about it, and I felt like kind of a prude because I'd be like, okay, just like get off the topic. Like, can we just talk talk about something else? It's like, why are we talking about people when we don't even know? Like, we only know what part of it, our perception of it. And when you get to the point of like understanding that you can't even sit around people that are talking bad or like gossiping um there's a saying that says gossip sheesh i'm gonna mess it up but it talks about like someone who's talking um about you like let's say they're gossiping about you it will fall short it'll fall a fall like you won't be the people that are that like they won't hear it like the gossip it's like 
you know nobody really cares in a sense it's like when you don't care about like talking about other people and there's still somebody that still wants to continue to talk about like oh my god this person this and look at what they're wearing it's like dude like shut up <laughs> like there's nothing bad like why do you keep wanting to find something that to be bad about somebody like they're freaking the shit <laughs> like you know what i mean and it could be like somebody's gonna start to realize like dude this person just is a hater they a hater anyways um i feel like someone's gonna be feeling a little stuck after they've got done some sort of manipulation word manipulation um i think somebody's gonna oh also it's like maybe somebody hold on i want to get a new deck because I really want to show you guys at least one of my decks. Judgment. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Something, somebody, somebody can already know something. I see, I'm so, I don't know why I looked over and I just saw this. I'm so sorry. Again, this one, you will be a success story. So somebody could have sabotaged your relationship. I feel like this person was a little insecure and they felt like you were too good for them or they were too good for you. I feel like they want to take you out, make, maybe have a good time with you. It says you make me want to commit and start over with you. So claiming your independence. Maybe you guys are trying to be a little bit more independent. Okay, so which one should I use for you guys? I really like I really like this one. The cosmic slumber tarot. It's cute because of this this little thing. Because tarot can get a little, well, anything can get a little expensive. As many decks as I have, you guys, I will sh I, I'll post a picture or something one of these days. I have a lot. Three, off the top of my head. Okay, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-
what what goes to say that like this way is different than a different way that someone does it you know it's not it's the same message just different way and people receive things differently so maybe this is gonna work for you and it's not gonna work for somebody else that's okay you are different it's not always gonna be the same i feel like this says eight of pentacles Ooh, eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck of pentacles and then i did get seven of pentacles so maybe you guys are eight seven so uh, maybe you guys were born in 1987 um okay when i was looking at this card seven of pentacles i feel like you guys are yeah i feel like you guys have been working really hard at something i'm gonna just read intuitively these two cards and watch i feel like you guys have been working really hard prince of wands prince of wands um and a pentacles Okay, you guys have been working really, really hard to stay patient. Um, you guys are trying to be really patient about a situation. Um, I'm getting the movie um, The Time Traveler's Wife. Because um, in this, she looks like she's in a field. She, and if you've seen the movie, she waits for him in a field. Oh my god, I freaking love that movie. It makes me cry. It's just like so fucking good. Like It's just like sweet the way. Like ah, There's a lot of different reasons why I like that movie. But anyways, um, yeah, this person is waiting for their, they're waiting, but they're waiting patiently and they're just like, I feel like somebody's wondering about you, wondering about what you're doing. I feel like they're waiting um, patiently and they're, they're kind of letting it be and seeing what's coming their way. They're not even really, they can't see anything right now. There's like, there could be many different options. There could be many different, not options, but like different routes that this thing can go in and so it's like you gotta just let it take it where it goes or whatever so i feel like somebody's just waiting they're not uh, they're not waiting in vain and they're not waiting impatiently they're just they know that whatever's gonna come to them is gonna come to them in divine timing so they are okay with waiting they just have to know that they don't want to be stuck anymore so um yeah and the eight of pentacles was at the bottom of the deck which talks about work so i feel like you guys are going to continue to work really hard and continue to put in the effort to make this tower you know they're planting this is a seven she's waiting and maybe maybe this person is going to bring her something maybe the, the per maybe whoever she's waiting for or you know who knows maybe this person is working on something and maybe this person knows that this person is working on something and that eventually things are going to get to the place where they can come back together. Um, I feel like this person is very passionate towards you. I feel like they are going to be taking some sort of 27, 27. They're going to be taking some sort of leap of faith um, with towards you. or But I feel right now, 88, you could be seeing a lot of 888. I feel like they're in some sort of anxiety um i feel like they had to kind of go with it oh well, this is i have not seen this card but this is such a pretty card the hermit it's a virgo virgo card um uh, and leo um i feel like this person could be oh okay so when i saw this this is a strength i'm not doing it this is a strength card and I heard, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Because um, sometimes we can want to go in. Sometimes I want to, like, oof, just end the world in a sense of, like, I don't give up anymore. Like, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting to You know when you get to the point of being mad that you don't care, you just say whatever flies out your mouth? Yeah, um... <laughs> I feel like somebody could be going within. Maybe there was a situation that that happened. And somebody has to go within. And maybe somebody's trying to come back. And they're a little bruised and wounded. Yeah, because this person looks like they were all like... They got... No. Yeah, maybe they were beat up. Or they were... Not, I don't want to say necessarily beat up. Like a literal. I hope not. If anybody was hurt, I'm sorry if you... Yeah, please don't. I'm not making fun. I'm not laughing. This is... I'm just saying she's a little scuffed up in the picture so it could just mean that she's wounded she and the, this is a strength card but it could also mean like this maybe this person ferocious kind of did something uh, maybe scuffed this person up a little bit maybe not intentionally or like there's just could have been a situation but I was getting like maybe this person did it to themselves 
and then this person they know like this person's just fed up and they're just like whatever but this person's still trying to be nice in the sense of like well bro what did you just do look at you're all fudged up and you want out you want to come and talk to me i don't know that's what i thought so i feel like somebody is taking the time to go within um and i don't want to say this person could have been a little bit um I feel like they could have been a little lost, you know? And it's okay. We've all been there. Hey. <laughs> I mean, who's to say we're not all lost? <laughs> like, I'm telling you. Who's like, to say, like, what one's problems worse or better than, you know? Your problems are just as important as my problems, so I would hope nobody... And I like to say that because it's like, I really want people to understand that no matter what, Empress, and that's a damn truth. I love that spiritual stage. Spiritual stage says that that's not mine she says and that's a damn truth i love it so we have the empress and then we have the what is this the ace of swords which is truth so i feel like you are standing in your empress energy look she's breastfeeding so you could have a baby um i feel like what i heard right here was an abundance a shower a uh, shower of abundance so i feel like you are in some sort of I think you guys are going to be working together with somebody for sure. Maybe you guys are going to be receiving some sort of love offer. And the sword, the crazy with Gemini. Hey, this is a cute. This is King of Swords. I really want to show you guys the imagery. This person could be very... Oh, they got angels. They got angel wings. Wow, i never seen the King of Swords with the angel wings. Interesting. Okay, anyways... I feel like um, continue to stay in your empress energy. You are going to be showered with abundance and blessings. The sun, I told you. Let me show you guys the sun card. It's so cute. The sun. Can you guys see it? I'll do it like this. Um, if I look funny and you want to make fun of me, go for it. I sleep okay at night. Trust me. Trust me. Um... Wow, the sun card is so cute. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? I think you guys are going to release some burdens. Uh, it could be a situation that you guys want to give into. Maybe a friendship. Maybe if it's not like given to another romantic connection. Maybe you guys just want to get back in the energy of being more like... Being able to like be free. I've been in a place where I was so like not lost i was so oh, what's the right word i was very like um stuck in my brain about like i was healing there was a lot of things that i had to overcome 32 32 um i had to overcome in my mind so that i knew i i knew when i think when i think negative that um that creates my reality. So if I'm thinking something bad's gonna happen, or this is never gonna be, this is never going to work out, then of course it's not gonna work out. I just said it, the spell work. I gotta say, it is gonna work out. We do believe in you. I do believe in myself. That's what you're speaking good on yourself. So if you guys wanna do any of that, I mean, and I'm not saying like do any bad, like, Thing. I'm not telling you guys to do any like black magic and shit. No, what I'm trying to say is if you guys want to do spell work, <laughs> speak good on people. Don't speak bad on people. Because guess what? If you speak good on somebody, then somebody else will speak good on you. You never know. There could be one time that you need somebody and then like you, haven't you guys seen like TV shows when we were younger? It's like you get dogged out because that person dogged you out eventually. Like you got to have people's back. The Hierophant. Have integrity. Because that's the Hierophant. It's have integrity. Be in Have integrity, yeah. It's a passionate new beginning. Wow, this is cute. I'm not showing sure you guys the cards. Okay, wait. I want to leave you guys real quick before I show the deal with one of my bot botanical... My botanical inspirations cards. I've, I've had all these decks for a really long time. I just haven't showed you guys. I'm telling you guys I have a lot. I'm still showing you guys new ones. Okay. Violet, forget me not. Don't forget me. Maybe somebody doesn't want you to forget them. Lily, I love that name. I really wanted to name my child that. <laughs> Maybe I will one day. You never know if I have a child. Who knows? 
only god Jared Bear Daisy okay because you guys know I'm a florist I had to ha I have to have a you know I have to have a <laughs> an oracle card with flower names on it okay so for my collective what do they need to know let's give them some affirmations and let's give them a card Ooh. okay let's do one more too one more spirit please one more All right, bottom of the deck is Magnolia. Nobility and self-esteem. There is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow men. True nobility lies in being superior to your former former self. Yeah, so being able to um <clears throat> being able to be a better version of yourself than you were, let's just say a year ago or six months ago. Like if you couldn't handle a certain situation and you know now, like wow. I would have gotten so triggered by that or I've learned so much that I don't get triggered by this anymore. Those are the things that you are trying to fix about yourself, learn about yourself, be better about yourself. Okay, so these are the two cards that you got. You got Asters. Did I, I don't know if I showed you the picture to the other one. It's okay. I already shuffled. So you got elegance and patience. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. So whatever, like like I said, don't rush anything. I was talking about longevity. You have to put in the work to later on build for the future. Yes, people get rich instantly sometimes. They get big instantly, but most of the time, a lot of people, it's hard. It's easy. Mm -mm, let me say, you, you work really hard to get to the place that you want to be. It takes even harder work to maintain it. So <clears throat> you got to work, you know. And it's like, let's just say, like, when you move, let's say you move into a place that's, you know, it's a little bit more expensive than, than it was in the past. you got to work a little extra harder, but then you get another goal, and then you get to that one, and then you work a little bit extra harder, and then you get the next goal. It's like, you got to keep going. But always know that it takes time. Things aren't going to happen instantly. you got to do your research, do your time, do your, do your work, you know? Like, nothing comes easy. Nothing. <laughs> like, nothing. Okay, so that was the first one. Second one is uh, anemone, anemone, wildflower. Anticipation. I felt like an arrow pulled back and ready to be launched into something big. So, sometimes the setback. So, I was going to say this um, earlier. Is sometimes um, things can happen. I just, I spoke this out earlier. I was like, sometimes things can happen. We may not understand it like on a on a 3d level i was explaining this is in like my car my car was hit like this was in april it's not my fault it's gonna get fixed and everything but it's taken a very long time oddly for um the situation to get resolved but i have to remember and i just thought about this i have to see it in a different way it's like maybe this is to this is a re there's a reason why because my car has had a dent on the side of the of my car for months so it's like let's say something were to happen where you know that's not my car <laughs> my car had a dent on it like in a sense of like i don't know i thought of this and i dreamt of it so it's like i had to perceive it in an in a way of like we don't know sometimes what goes on behind the scenes you know we don't know sometimes what um yeah we sometimes we don't have to know all the the reasons why and it just things happen and sometimes really things happen just fucking because because we have to you know it just is what it is and so we just have to take it and go with it so anyways what i'm trying to say is you never know what hap what's happening but let's say you get into a car accident and like you're on your way somewhere oh and I don't want to say this because uh, I don't want to speak on that. Let me not say that. But I was going to say, and like that car accident ends up, but something else was going to happen. Like, let's say you get into some sort of situation and it's kind of like the universe, as shitty as that situation could be, is like you mess up your car or something. It kind of could be saving you from something bigger, you know, in a sense. So I guess you just have to see it like that. So if anything's happened to you recently and it's something that you don't really understand, you got to turning back. You better make that U-turn. Better make that U-turn. <laughs> Maybe somebody's planning on doing something, but you better make that U-turn because you see right through their manipulative relationship. I mean, you see right through their manipulative energy. Ay, ay, ay. I'm 
so sorry I hurt you. Did you? Are you? Are you sorry? Separation is near. I don't know if this has to do with anything in my life, but if it does, back away. Judgment, divine intervention, because guess what? The divine steps in, and then that won't be pretty. But anyways, um, that's all I got to say. I just heard, oh, she knows, she knows, she knows. <laughs> anyways, I'm going to bed now literally 2 50 in the morning and i gotta get up to go to la tomorrow so hopefully let me put this video to upload right now yeah i will so because it takes sometimes it takes me all morning like it, all night i'll be loading so um i have like i have so many videos i haven't posted because i just sometimes don't get a chance to do it red rose hidden secrets interesting three things cannot be long hidden the sun the moon and the truth Mm. So you could be dealing with the Leo, a Cancer. What's the truth? I don't know, but Leo and Cancer. I'm a Cancer. I'm a Cancer. I got Leo in my chart too. <laughs> a new start and, and wisdom. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Yeah. So as long as you guys stay true to yourself, this is another freaking forty-minute video. It's all good. Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Hope you guys have a great Saturday. Today's Friday. Yeah. Um, what's today? It's Saturday the 16th, but it was the 15th yesterday. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get out of here. I hope you guys have a good... Everybody's already sleeping. Hope you guys have a good rest of your night, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, like the video, don't forget, and share and subscribe. Okay, 